yesterday we found a product that's doing $174,000. They are doing it with image ads and they're selling it with beautiful images on here, right? So if you're selling a product like this, number one, you need very, very nice image ads that go ahead and um, help you sell and position the product amazingly well. And the next thing that you're going to need is really, really beautiful images of your product being showcased in this way. Now, I know that these are all AI images, but what a lot of people don't understand is how to make them. Because if you go to AliExpress, you're not going to find suppliers giving you images like this. They have right, really nice product images, but they don't have images like this, right? So typically you're like, okay, how do you generate these type of images? Because honestly, um, when you hear that an image is worth a thousand words, that's what it is, right? They're not buying products like this because of your descriptions. Sadly, it's not the case. They're buying because they think they're going to look like this wearing this particular product. And you're going to have to invoke those feelings on them. So in today's video, we're going to do a live tutorial of how to generate images like this for your own e-commerce store. We're going to use this gold bracelet as an example. And I'm going to show you how you can model any of your competitors images using AI employees that do all of the heavy lifting for you. We're going to walk through this process start to finish and towards the end I will even show you how to get access to those AI employees. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm going to need help from my AI employees and the AI employee that I'm going to be using is called the a shop funnels AI branded image engine. Okay. Now, essentially, what it does is first thing you paste one prompt, you paste the prompt of the unlimited branded image concept generator. Okay. If these are really big words, don't worry about it. As soon as you enter this prompt, what ends up happening is the first thing you're going to do is start planning what your images are going to look like okay so first it's going to ask us to upload images for your product and include all of the different angles that you have now essentially what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take my competitors images right i'm going to take this actually you know what i think i'm going to take my suppliers images for this right so let's go and take this one for example and just go ahead and save uh we can just save this image and paste it into chat gpt actually yep so save as okay so if it's not letting us save the images which sometimes chat gpt does not i have this tool that's called the aliexpress image downloader and it basically will download all of the images for me all of the main images here are going to be downloaded right off the bat and i'm going to just go ahead and use the gold ones for my reference like this one okay and i'm going to upload this and i'm going to take this in Okay, that's the that one. And then what I'm also going to do, I think, in this situation is I'm going to save all of these images as well, the competitors images and upload all of the gold ones. Okay, so I'm going to go here. Okay, and I'm going to hit this button. Um, I have another Chrome extension called Image Eye that will basically go through all of the images of my competitor and allow me to download them. Okay, and I'm going to uh sort this by position on page right so this are basically i just want all of these so the, i like this one i like this one this one this one this one um yeah those are really really cool i think those are those are good enough for me okay um and let me even take this one let's see this okay perfect okay and then i'm gonna go ahead actually you know what let's remove the suppliers images because it doesn't really matter right we're gonna go here we're going to open these images, okay, because we really want to closely model this one, right? So we're going to go upload these product images, okay, and then we're going to upload the um, product name as well, okay? And now it, it, it's it gone basically understood, right? It knows that it's fine bla bracelet, it's all of this. It's going to do an analysis of the type of product that it is, okay? Now it's going to do a brand reference intake. It needs to understand what you want your brand to look like. Now you have two options here. Either you can have your brand look very similar to this or what you can do is you can go to pinterest.com, okay? And you can type in um, this phrase that I normally type in, okay? Wait, let me remove the ad blocker. Uh, pause on this side. Okay, go to Pinterest and then what do I type in? I, th I type in Instagram feed, okay? And then it shows me e-commerce Instagram feeds, okay? So I can go to jewelry instagram feed right so i can go here and i can then basically get a really nice idea like let's say like if you want your images to like have this look and feel you can upload this and you can get a very very similar aesthetic okay or if you really just want to model your your person closely okay you can basically go ahead and re-upload the same images and go like i really like this aesthetic from my competitor okay I can just go like, I really like this aesthetic from my competitor, okay? And then that's it. 
okay it's basically it's going to do a co comprehensive identity breakdown okay now why am i doing all of this why am i why, why did i upload this prompt then upload the product then upload the reference number one this master prompt what it does is it turns chat into an ai employee okay and this ai employee is going to plan branded images for me and that's all this goal is and instead of me having to educate ai on how to become a branded you know image planner i have this huge prompt that's how many how many pages long is it it's 18 pages long right do that for me okay then all of the workflows are built into this prompt so it basically asks me step one do a product intake i've done that step two give me the reference images i've done that right now if you want it to not look like the competitor brand too much and you want it to look like this brand all you have to do is upload this one image and it would understand the aesthetic if you wanted some greens you would have to upload this image right if you want it to be like pink and peach you could upload this image and you would get that right it really depends on how you want to do it but i really want to be like my competitor here so i've just gone ahead and said i really like this aesthetic and what it's done is it's done a comprehensive breakdown of the competitor's identity okay now the next thing that it's going to do after it does this is basically start preparing image concepts Okay, concept one, concept two, and concept three. Okay, and this one chat will now become an unlimited idea generator. That's what this does. Okay, so now um, it's basically come up with three concepts and it's saying, which concept would you like me to proceed with? I really like the one, right? So I'm going to go one. Okay, and then when I say concept number one, it's going to do a in-depth prompt that you can give to any image generator and it will generate the image for us okay that's what this does and so now that this prompt is ready we're going to start generating the images so this is a two-step process i need you to understand step one is plan the images and step two is generate the images okay so step one is complete okay where we have a really really in-depth prompt um that goes through what um, your product image needs to look like now if you were to generate it by the way this is what these softwares do on the background all these softwares that you're using for ai image generation this is what they're doing in the background they're understanding the reference image they're breaking down what your image needs to look like and then they're executing it instead of paying someone fifty dollars or hundred dollars a month to do all of this in the background and you can't even see what's happening just using ai employees you can see exactly how your image execution is going to come in you can put it in mid journey leonardo gemini whatever right for me i'm just going to use chat gpt so the next thing i'm going to do is open up a new chat okay and i'm going to paste in my second ai employee which is the product photography and design i'm going to open this one up I'm going to copy this image uh, prompt name. I'm going to paste it. Okay. Again, this is a 18 page prompt as well. Okay. Uh, this is an 18 page prompt as well. Okay. And now what it does is basically the first thing it's going to ask is for your product intake. Okay. I'm going to upload the images of the product. It's going to ask us, okay, what do you, what does your product look like? Boom. We up, we upload the images. All right. It's understood the image. It's understood what the product looks like. And then the thing is it wants the brand reference, right? What do you want your branding to look like? I'm going to upload those images as well. Okay. Um, very similar to my competitor. Okay. Boom. It's going to understand the images. Okay. Now it's going now it's that it's understood what your product is and what your, you know, brand references again for brand reference. You can either use your competitor or go to Pinterest and find another image that you like. It's going to ask for the creative prompt. Like it's going to ask you for the detailed image instructions. You go here to your first AI employee, you copy this, you put this in. Okay. And you just hit paste. Okay. And now it's going to start generating an image of your particular product in the same way as the brand style. And that's how easy this whole thing is. Here you go. How cool does this product image look? Okay. It's been generated. How insane does this product image look? And let's compare it. Okay. To product images like this one, right? How, I mean, this is insane. This is their golden hour. This is our golden hour, right? Look at how insane this product image looks in comparison. Okay. And that's it. That's all you have to continue to do. Okay. You can basically get insane, amazing, um, uh, amazing images 
conceptualized, branded everything, right? So let, let's let's go for this one, concept two, after the sim. By the way, you can go ahead and continue to generate brand new concepts here. It's two AI employees doing different things. I'm going to go here. I'm going to, I really like that after swim concept. Okay, boom. And now we can go in here, right? And we can start generating insane images. After the swim concept's been generated, I'm going to copy the code. Okay, I'm going to paste this in. And what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to upload some images of what it looks like after the swim, right? So this one is a really good reference image that I'm going to put in. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and hit generate. And um, uh, because attaching reference images of what your concept looks like just makes the AI better able to generate those type of images. So now we've hit it, we've entered into AI, we've attached a reference image alongside with it, and now it's creating the new image for us. All right, guys, so there you go. Look at how incredible this image is. Look at how well it's modeled the reference image of the person in the, I mean, it's similar, but not same, but look at how realistic this thing looks, right? And this is it, right? You can take as many concepts as you want from here, and you can go ahead and start generating them over here using the branded AI image engine. AI employee. Again, I'm going to show you how to get all of this towards the end. I just want to show you the power of how to create these beautiful images. Now, there were two images that I spoke about, right? One was the images from the store itself. But what about these ad images that they're going ahead and uh, running, right? These are really incredible ads, but how do you create them? Now, for this one, we're going to use our second AI employee, which is called the AI image ad rebuilder. Okay, so now I've opened up that AI employee. Okay, the first thing is we're going to need to go ahead and copy paste this prompt. And again, it's all copy pasting, guys. It's it's really, really easy. It's very, very beginner proof. Okay, so now first thing we're going to do is copy paste this AI employee, go to chat GBT, open up a new chat. Okay, and we're going to paste this uh, in. Okay, again, this prompt is how many pages long? 30 pages long, 30 pages long. All right. Uh, but essentially it turns chat GPT into an ad analyzer and a prompt generator. The first thing it's going to ask us to do is upload a competitor's ad. We're going to go to chat. We're going to go to the competitor's ads and find a really, really cool one. OK, that we want to model. It depends on you which one you want to use. You can go to the last one. You can go to the first one. It really depends on you. I want to do this one. Look at look at how beautiful this looks. OK, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to save this image. OK, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to upload it into my first AI employee, which is the image generator. OK, we're going to go here. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and upload this right here. OK, now that we've uploaded this image into ChatGPT, OK, it's going to do something insane. It's going to do a forensic level analysis of every pixel of this image. It's going to look at the visual composition. It's going to look at the, um, it's going to look at a lot. I mean, I'm just going to leave it running so you guys can see every single thing that it's analyzing, right? Because when we're recreating ads from our competitors, it's not good enough where we upload an image to chat GPT and we say, hey, can you just create this for me? That's where image ads go to fail because that's all they think about is like, can you recreate this for me? And then ChatGPT does its best copy of the product. But if you don't educate ChatGPT on every single aspect of the ad, you're not going to get um, a, a good reproduction. And another thing is, why are you recreating the same ad when you can improve it, right? So this, what this analysis uh, does is not only does it understand what's on the ad, it's also going to do a... Uh, weakness and missed opportunity analysis. It's going to look at what is missing in this ad and it's going to go ahead and improve it. Okay, now the the forensic analysis is complete. Okay, um, all you have to do is type in approved. Okay, and then it's going to start the next stage, which is brand input and customization. It's going to say, do you have any branded elements? So essentially, if we look at this ad, do you have any, like for example, their, their brand name is My Love, My Treasure. My brand name, uh, my brand, my brand name is Essential Luxury, okay? Let's say my brand name is Essential Luxury. I'm just going to put it in, okay? And now what it's going to do is when it recreates these ads, okay, 
it's not going to put my love, my treasure. It's going to put essential luxury in here because that's what my brand name is. Okay. So it's going to update it with this and it's going to run a seven step marketing analysis where it's going to go ahead and take and create a better ad than the original. Okay. It's again, it's going to go ahead and plan all of this. All right. Major improvement summary X, Y, Z. Then now we're going to go ahead and approve it. Okay. It's going to, so these, these are the three steps it's done. First step is understand what the ad is and then the weaknesses. Then the step is the second step is understand what our brand is. And now the third step is creating an improved ad of the, the competitor. Okay. This is the entire ad that's been generated uh, for our, for our, for us. Okay. With all of the improvements done, this is a huge prompt. Okay. Now the next step is to actually generate the image, right? So for that, let's go back to our AI employee right here. We've already used the forensic ad analysis one. Let's go to the ad rebuilder. Okay. We're going to copy this prompt in. Okay. Now you can go ahead and do this on Google, Nano, Banana, Gemini, or you can do this on ChatGPT. Okay. I'm just going to paste this in. I've not used this on ChatGPT yet, but Yep, it's ready. Okay. Now all you need is the competitor's ad and your image generation spec, and it's going to go ahead and paste. Uh, it's going to generate a high resolution ad. So I'm going to go ahead. Okay. I'm going to paste this in. Okay. Which is the competitor ad image and my generation spec. So I'm going to go back to this, uh, to our, um, first AI employee, which is, where did it, where did it go? Let me find it. All right. I'm going to paste, copy this code in. I'm going to paste it to our second AI employee that actually generates the image. Okay. And boom. So now it has everything and it's going to start creating the image right here. And that's it. You have a better ad created from the original ad. Okay. And let's give it a few seconds and see what, uh, what type of ad it creates. Wow, dude, look at this. Okay. So comfortable. You forget you're wearing it until the compliments start. Beautiful tennis bracelet on this with a call to action right with a call to action and free shipping 30 days return and our brand okay so look at the difference forget it's there until it the, until they ask it's vague over here so comfortable you forget you're wearing it until the compliments start way better marketing angle our bracelet is still on that marble thing our brand is here but there was space here right so discover your bracelet free shipping 30 day returns how beautiful of an ad is this so now in this short video i've taught you two things I've taught you, number one, how to create image ads like a six-figure business. And I've also taught you how to create image assets like a six-figure business, right? So with both of them, don't you think you can create any image assets for any brand, right? Like you can in minutes model successful image assets and then do it for your brand. Now you're probably thinking, Ali, how did you get all of this? How were you able to do it so fast? The thing is, guys, that's what I spend my time doing. Most of my time is spent on creating what I like to call AI employees for every single aspect, for video ad production, for viral influencer content, for um, course creation, for offer building, for image recreations. All of my AI employees are here and they're updated constantly. And I wanted to create a community for people that are interested in image ads and video ads using AI. So that's why we've 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 built what is called the AI Ad Accelerator. If you get the AI Ad Accelerator, which I'll link down below, you will get access to all of my AI employees, plus plus step by step training on how to create image ads from scratch, plus step by step training on how to create video ads from scratch. So if you're someone who wants to go all in on AI, wants to master this, wants to be on the forefront, then I highly, highly recommend going through AI Ad Accelerator because it is the full length training on how to do it for e-com. A lot of these AI courses, a lot of these AI video courses, they're all for like creating robots flying, which yeah, looks cool on Instagram, but it doesn't make us money. This is the only course that out, that's out there that shows you how to create images and videos for your for your e-commerce products, for drop shipping products, for branded supplements, all of that stuff. That's what this course is focused on. And I'm gonna leave that link down below. For those of you guys who don't want that, who just want the individual prompts and wanna do it yourself, I will also leave those in the link in the description. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Appreciate each and every one of you. If you thought that was cool, let me know in the comments down below. With that being said, uh, this is me signing off and I'll catch you guys next one. Peace.